All right, so I'm gonna make a raw video here on how to use the Dr. Jones H17F or H17FX sometimes driver. This is a great driver that's included in a lot of custom flashlights like Hanko, Citadel, stuff like that. Let's come around to my web page here. And I'm parked on Mountain Electronics right now. And this Dr. Jones driver is amazing. It's only 17 bucks. You can buy it yourself, put it in your own uh, builds. And what I love about it is it, it can be set up to anything you want. Any, basically any number of modes at any brightnesses. You know, you can have it go bright and then dim and then brighter again and then a strobe and then bright again and then dim. I mean, whatever you want. So uh, let's talk about configuring it real fast. So if you go down their page, um, right where it says configuration menu, this is an explanation of how to use the driver. And it seems hard at first, but let me just walk you through it. So what you're going to do is you're going to enter configuration menu. And you do that by tapping eight times rapidly. I don't even count. I just tap until I don't see it flashing anymore. So watch. Tap, 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 tap. And then when I don't see it flashing anymore, I hold. And you see it does this kind of like a, kind of a strobe, if you will, a slow strobe. Well, let me talk about that one more time. So again, I'm here. I go tap, 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 tap. It don't see anything anymore. So I stop tapping and I hold. And then it goes into that flash as I'm holding. Okay. The flash indicates that you're in configuration menu, and it also is a battery um, indicator. It flashes out of 10 flashes. So um, uh, 10 out of 10 would be 4.2 volts. And, um, and, then, and then each flash is 0.12 volts. So um, if you had like, I believe one flash, you should be at three volts. Anyways, uh, which is empty. All right, so just think of it like a fuel gauge. Now, let's talk about configuring here. So what you're going to do is you're going to enter that configuration menu. So eight flashes really fast. When it's strobing like that, um, you're going to go one tap if you want to do a mode lock, two taps if you want to switch pages. This thing has two pages. You can have, you know, let's say a two mode page on the light and then an eight mode page. That's kind of cool. Um, you can also, um, okay, three taps we're definitely going to use. I'm going to show you three taps right now. And then I'm going to show you five taps. And there's a lot in here. And I'll let you go through the menu and manual. I mean, you know, let you go through manual, figure it out. There's, you know, affecting the memory. So, you know, whether it stays in the last mode or not, there's um, temperature configurations and stuff like that. But I'm just going to go over the two more common ones, which is setting brightness of a certain mode, changing it, I mean. And uh, five taps, which will add or delete modes. So first, let me start by saying I have six modes on my light. Watch. One, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm back to one. Okay, so six modes. Second thing I want to point out is if I'm in the middle here, like this, when I let go and I turn it back on, I'll be on uh, moonlight again because that's how I've set up. I got no mode, uh, no mode memory. Okay, so now that you know that about my light, Let's start by taking that moonlight right here, this moonlight, and let's make it like bright, okay? So what we're gonna do is you're gonna be on the mode you wanna change, so click it in and be on it for at least like, like five seconds, okay? Then click it off, and it can be off for a long time now because the light will remember the last mode you used. Now do 10 taps, and it'll ignore that because you're doing it rapidly. Do 10 taps, and we see no flashes, hold, Okay, there's the strobe. Now do three, one, two, three, hold. So I'm holding the back button and it's gonna start ramping up. And there is that like black for a while. It just sits there at the bottom end. Now when I see what I want, I let go and then click in fast. Let go, click in. It confirms by three flashes and I've now just set my very first mode to that bright brightness. So here we go. See, it's really bright, and when I let go and click again, then we're at the second mode, and then it goes up from there. So I've just destroyed my moonlight. Well, let's put my moonlight back, okay? So I'm going to put it on, and remember, hold, have it on for a few seconds, okay? Now, eight taps. Okay, hold. Okay, three taps. One, two, three. Hold. And right when I see it come on, let go and tap. There we go. Now I got my moonlight back to the way I want. 
Then the other tricky thing that you might want to do is you might want to add or delete uh, modes. Now, I will add one and I'll delete one, okay? So to add, you're going to have two submenus, all right? Well, two, two menus you have to go through. So you're going to go 10 taps to enter or eight taps to enter config. Once you're in config, you're going to do five taps. Then one, so after five, it's going to be another submenu. And then one will add a mode and two would delete a mode. So I have six modes right now. So if I add one, I'm going to have seven, right? So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to put, and, and by the way, it always adds before the one you're on. So if I wanted to add it right in the middle of my light, like right in the middle, you know, so I have seven modes, it's right in the middle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go mode one, two, three, four, and click it on. So be on four for a while. Then when I add, it should add right in front of it. Okay. So it should be like, um, so it, go, it should go like, one, two, three, the new mode I'm adding, four, five, six, so that'd be total seven. All right, so let me unclick it. Let's do 10, five, and then one, okay? So 10, oh, it's eight, right? Sorry, I keep seeing 10. Let's do five, one, two, three, four, five, and hold, and then the new strobe and one. Okay, so now if I let go, let's take a look. We should have a doubled up mode that's the same brightness. So here's our moonlight, there's the next mode, next mode, and then see that's the same. See that? Same right there, so watch. Dim, brighter, that's mode three, and four and five are the same, six, seven, right? Because we have seven modes now. All right, now let's say I wanna get rid of, um, well, I added basically, let's see, I have seven modes, so one, two, three, that's the mode I added, so four. But let's say I wanna get rid of five for some reason. Now, it doesn't matter because four and five are the same brightness because that mode was copied, right? But let's do this, one, two, three, four, five, click it on. So that's the mode we're gonna delete. And we're just gonna go uh, eight taps, five, and then two, and it'll delete it, okay? Okay. So so eight taps, okay, hold, one, two, three, four, five, hold, one, two, hold. Okay, it confirms, I can let go. And if I check now, I should have six modes again. One, two, three, four, five, six. One last thing I wanna say before I go, folks, and you know, there's other things you can play with, but there is a turbo. So if you tap too fast on some of the stuff, it could confuse you. When you enter configuration mode, the speed of your, that you're tapping isn't gonna matter, but I just mean when you're testing, right? I was testing that I had six modes and I went one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a good speed to go. But if you go like tap, tap, you notice I go immediately to turbo. So if I go one, two, three, tap, tap, see it's on turbo. So just know that double click fast is always turbo. All right, I hope that helps um, and I'll see you in the next video, guys.